So a lot of things happening on the interwebs in discussion about the Demon 170. People complaining about the top speed, people complaining about the performance, and even people blowing up engines. Obviously, there's lots of platforms for people to be sharing misinformation or things maybe they're just confused about. Mm, wow. Well, allow me to retort. You're going to claim that everyone's spreading fake news about the Demon 170 when you don't even know the gearing, the top speed, or the speed rating of the Mickey Thompson tires? I'm lying about everything so much that Dodge got me an allocation for Demon 170 for my good work at spreading misinformation? <laughs> It is one thing I cannot stand. It is high prices for aftermarket parts for your vehicle. But my friends at Just Bolt Owns at DragRacingWheels.com doesn't do that nonsense and have some of the best prices online for your favorite aftermarket brands and accessories. Whether it's an exhaust system to a catch can to sticky Mickeys, they have you covered. And with my special promo code Butter at checkout, you can save up to an additional 15% off on your next order. So check out my friends at Just Bolt Owns and DragRacingWheels.com where some of the best prices online just got a little bit better. Now I'm over 35,000 friends and it's 71% not yet subscribed yet. You know TK's Garage, OC Motivator and myself have been covering these issues with Demon 170s from the beginning. From the blowers having issues at the plant, to crazy spark plug gaps, to loose harmonic balancers, to even the impossible Demon 170 missing an engine bearing that no one wants to believe, to helping the active duty service member get a Demon 170 after he was screwed by a dealership just days before Christmas. We have covered it all. And not just the demons, from other cars keep cracking their windshield from a, I guess a manufacturing defect to shady dealers screwing customers out of thousands upon thousands of dollars and allocation for their Demon 170 to helping out one of you guys who's back half of their car miraculously made it through quality checks because it's impossible for certain things to happen outside of quality checks at the plant and then quality checks at the dealership helping him get a replacement car. We have seen, we have helped, and we have covered it all. Because at the end of the day, this is the brotherhood. And if anyone has a problem, I'll gladly do what I can to fix the situation, not just run my mouth don't, and not having the facts. I may not have too many subscribers like my friend at Raddy's Rise, but my work and reporting speaks for itself. I have personally saved the brotherhood hundreds upon thousands of dollars, and if I had to cover the BS over and over again to help any one of you out, I will gladly. So if people have problems with their vehicles and Solanus giving them the runaround, like voiding their warranty, or let's just say give them the runaround for months, or dealers trying shady tactics to screw customers out of thousands of dollars, people know who to turn to. And that leads us to this video by Raddy's Rods. I guess there's a lot of people that are upset and uh, even a class action lawsuit against Dodge because the Demon 170 does not have a top speed of 200 miles an hour. Let's talk about that for a second. First of all, congratulations, Raddy, on your Demon 170, or I don't know if your name, I don't know what your real name is. I'm just gonna keep calling you Raddy in this video. Congratulations to your Demon 170. And having said that, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you're kind of new to the new Demon 170 scene. So don't come at us like you're Demon Jesus and everything that you said is gospel and the rest of us are reporting fake or false news or just flat out lying. It's just one of those things, like I said, I just felt like I had to talk about some of these issues and debunk them for you. And obviously what better place to do it than in my Demon 170. What did you debunk in this case? You presented zero facts. Having an opinion is one thing, but trying to come across like you put in the work by actually going to Dodge and getting the facts is something entirely else. I've done that multiple times 
going to Dodge and getting the information straight from the horse's mouth. This car is not geared to do more than 169 miles an hour. It's just not. The gearing maxes out. That's where you're at. And then on top of it, you gotta remember that these are Mickey Thompson drag radials that are Y rated, which doesn't allow them to exceed 170 miles an hour. So I don't know where everybody was that's upset was getting this inclination. I guess it had something to do with that video that Dodge, that teaser with the leprechaun or whatever, and it showed like some crazy top speed. I don't know. I'll watch Raddy's video from the beginning to the end. And I mean, come on, bro. You don't even know that the gear in the 2018 Demon and 2023 Demon 170 is exactly the same. Let me roll exhibit A right here. As you can see, the whole ratio is literally the same all the way from every single gearing on the transmission all the way to the final rear end drive ratio. And I'm just gonna say, I love how people tell you to do research, but they don't actually do the research before they open their mouths. Because there are plenty of articles out there of 2018 demons that they had drag radios on them as well too in 2018, just in case you need to go look. They had radios, well drag radios like I said, and an unlocked race ECU that came in the demon crate and they were doing over 200 miles per hour. So maybe some people don't understand why people were very upset about the top speed rating of the 2023 Demon 170 being at only 149 miles per hour. A lot of us Demon 170 owners who's had their cars for a while, we remember how Dodge Garage website, which they have since scrubbed once the whole top speed mess controversy blew up in their face online that there was an article that claimed the demon 170's top speed was 215 miles per hour now i'm going to repeat this again very slowly an article on dodge's website that dodge used to especially post the demon 170 spec list that's the only way you can go inspect a demon 170 out you couldn't go on dodge's regular re website and spec it out right beside a, a hellcat or a red eye or durango or whatever you had to go on dodge garage and use that one little special page to pick out all your options for your demon 170. So in october this year we're going to tell you every unit that we're going to build for the final 12 months of production by trim and by dealer and then we're going to update that weekly on dodgegarage.com so you're gonna know where every single Hemi Charger, Challenger, RT, Scat Pack, Hellcat, Red Eye, you name it, where it's going. Think about it as a horsepower locator because we don't want any customers putting in orders at dealers that may not earn allocation for what they're looking for. We don't want you waiting for your dream car that's never gonna get delivered. So if you got your heart set on a Red Eye, a Jailbreak, a Superstock, a Scat Pack, whatever, we're gonna tell you exactly which dealers are gonna have access to those models. And then they also had on it the horsepower locator. So this is a Dodge sponsored site with all their trademarks and logos on there. They had an article on there that claimed the Demon 170 went 215 miles per hour. It wasn't just the teaser that Raddy said in his video about the Leprechaun going 215 miles per hour, blowing it into that little whatever crap he blew it into, which I'm sorry to say, Raddy, it misled customers. There were multiple things that misled customers that Dodge has now scrubbed off the internet, which you can go watch in previous videos and you will see from other people, not just me, the stuff that led people to believe that the top speed of Demon 170 was 215 miles per hour. So some of you guys might also remember that Dodge posted another promo video that claimed the Demon 170 was the quickest and fastest Dodge ever. And they literally said ever in the promo. Now all of this stuff has since, like I said, either been scrubbed or edited once the crap hit the fan. But a lot of stuff didn't happen until a crap load of owners had already spent hundreds of thousands of dollars over sticker for a car they were led to be that was something that it wasn't. The Demon 170 is not the quickest, fastest, most powerful Dodge ever. It only has the distinction of being two out of three things that is correct.
and that one piece that was missing some people might have bought their car spending way more money than what it should have a lot of people have a buyer's remorse because when they spend hundred thousand dollars of a sticker now they can get uh i think about three four hundred more demon one saved is still sitting in dealerships that are about 20 to 30k over i called a dealership in texas just uh, a couple of days ago and they are selling the demon 170 and i knew they had sitting there for like eighty thousand dollars over sticker now they sell 30k over sticker so those guys who had that fomo that fear of missing out who bought early who bought into all that bs they would have waited and did their research and listened to people like me who said to wait they would have saved thousands upon thousands of dollars and like I said, if you don't believe me that Dodge put out that video talking about D170 is the quickest, fastest, most powerful Dodge ever, go as Dodge themselves. But plenty of people are suing Dodge over this claim, just like the 2021 Durango Hellcat owners who were led to believe the 2021 Durango Hellcat was a one run only vehicle. And it skipped the year in 2022 and it's been in production ever since. Yep, there's still time to get the most powerful SUV up. The Durango SRT Hellcat is back for the 23 model year. And even though they were able to figure out how to keep building it, you all know the stories you heard about emissions, compliance, and blah, blah, blah. It is not detuned. Still 710 horsepower, 645 pound feet of torque, and still the best in class towing. And most importantly, it's the most badass SUV you can buy, period. 2023 and 2024 and i think this will be a 2025 model year i know that little hammerhead i'm putting right here on the screen but you can see that the 2021 durango hellcat was not a one year only run and that's why durango hellcat owners from that year are suing because they were led to believe something that was not true so it's not like dodge doesn't have a recent history of sticking their foot in their own mouths with false claims and unlike ratty i actually got an official response from dodge about the 149 mile power claim and i made a video right here i didn't go off of guesses and speculations and give my opinion i got the facts straight from dodge themselves i have a message to prove everything that was said in that video because every time i talk to dodge i bring receipts you don't have to believe me you can ask dodge and ask them if i'm lying in that video as well i dare you speaking of false claims the speed of the demon 170 is 149 miles per hour that's the speed rating of the mickey thompson tires not the speed rating you claim that you know all this research and you're an 18 year old uh 18 year historian all this crap the speed rating on the mickey thompson tires is 149 miles per hour which ratty you can easily verify with your own testing since you have a demon 170 you'll see that you will be stopped at 149 miles per hour but what if i told you ratty that if you put your car in drag mode dodged a legal loophole that will allow the demon 170 to exceed 149 miles per hour but only temporarily which should get you in the mid 150 mile per hour range but only briefly hence the quarter mile timer right here which is why it exceeded 149 miles per hour. Other influencers like me and some other people, we ask Dodge questions and get the facts documented, not speculated. If we are lying, go ask Dodge themselves. Don't give me your opinion when you don't even do your own research. Now let's go and address the elephant in the room. Now I'm going to say a dealership sent official paperwork to Dodge that said a Baron was missing in that Demon 170. And I'm going to say this, we have no idea when that Baron came out. If there's even a Baron in there when the car was first assembled, when the Baron ate itself alive, when the Baron is somewhere on the floor of that dealership, when the Baron is sitting in the oil pan, we don't know. All we know is that there was no Baron on that journal when that tech, who I guess he might know what he's doing since he's working on Demon 170, I'm assuming he's an SRT trained technician. He said in his official paperwork that there was no Baron on that journal when he opened that engine up. So I'm just gonna leave it there, but everybody keeps saying, oh my God, it didn't come from the plant. You don't know, we don't know when it came out but there are plenty of questionable engine failures that survived the engine dyno that dodge told me themselves 
that they do to every single Demon 170 engine before it goes into a Demon 170. And no, not every Demon 170 that blew an engine went on a drag strip when they blew up. So don't spread this misinformation that, oh my God, people are blowing engines only when they're on the drag strip. There are people who are blowing engines just simply just driving down the road, blowing their engines. Heck, my engine started smoking simply by going over to E85, but I guess I'm lying because I might've went on the track and I'm just lying about it or whatever. But just saying, I've already presented the paperwork of that Demon 170 that blew up in the first 100 miles because someone at the plant couldn't do something as simple as install an harmonic balancer properly. Then I did a video a few days ago of a second Demon 170 that left the plant after being on the dyno for, I think, I think they told me 42 minutes, every single Demon 170 engine is on the dyno. And then now all of a sudden, after being in through all that crap, going through, you know, quality tests and all this nonsense and being in the customer's hands, next thing you know, boom, something happened to his car. There's all over the place. His harmonic balancer start chewing into his timing cover. And next thing you know, he needs another harmonic balancer because it simply just came off. But I guess we're all lying here. I'm just saying, I didn't know pictures wasn't proof enough. It's just one of those things, like I said, I just felt like I had to talk about some of these issues and debunk them for you. And obviously what better place to do it than in my Demon 170. But I'm going to ask you guys a favor. Every influencer you've seen that questioned anything I have said about Demon 170 issues, I want you to tag them in the comment section and give them the timestamp to this moment in time right now. Because I'm about to do a mic drop and I want to see if any of these guys has the actual guts to prove me wrong. I dare any one of them and literally every Dodge influencer has a way bigger channel than me. So it should be a lot easier for them to get an answer from Dodge than me. Literally, Raddy got over 2 million subscribers. I know Racer X has over 100 and, or 200,000 subscribers or whatever. TK Garage got over 100,000 subscribers. I'm like literally the smallest channel that cover all this stuff with Dodge. So I dare you guys to go call up Dodge and ask them if the butter the insider is lying about these engine issues with the Demon 170. Or really, heck, I don't even care. Any issues about any vehicle I talked about this year, I want you to ask Dodge if I am lying. Because what you might not know, I've talked to multiple Dodge officials in the background and helped plenty of people with issues with their cars. Some people whose warranty was voided on their Demon 170 for some of the most stupidest things that I can think of. And what if I told you that literally every time I talk to Dodge, where to be lower level people, all the way up to the, both the CEOs, past and present, I have facts to back up everything I put in all those videos. I was literally at one point in time chatting with Dodge employees about a lot of stuff I reported back in my videos every single day. So like I said, go ask Dodge if I am lying about anything I put in the video the last several months when I saw reporting on issues with any Dodge car. Go watch every video, every video from this year when I started going over these, these customer issues and these demo same issues, go ask Dodge if I was lying and report back to me. Hey, tag me in the video. So like I said, tag any influencer. It can be Raddy's Rides. It can be Uncle Tony's Garage. Well, at least Uncle Tony's Garage, he had the guts to call out me and TK in his video. So I have a lot of respect for Uncle Tony. Even though you don't agree with what I reported, I still have a lot of respect for you for actually calling me out by name. I don't like it when other people or, you know, other influencers don't like to call me out by name, but try to skirt around, call me out, but talk about things I put out there. You guys remember the last time that happened. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, if you go watch that video, I still love Racer X. Just saying. But Raddy knows exactly who brought this missing Baron hoax because everyone knows that I was the first person who made a video about it. So I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure you know exactly who I am. Well, you probably know who I am after people start tagging you in this video. Now I shared the paperwork in a previous video and photos. I want them to go ask Dodge for an official answer of why the dealership filed official paperwork that the engine was missing a Baron. Don't worry, I'll wait. 
Oh, you know what? Let me not forget. While I've been lying about everything going on the last several months, especially with the Demon 170, why did Dodge give me an allocation for the Demon 170 that I currently have in my garage? So if I'm just running my mouth, spreading misinformation, like some people claim that I'm doing, then why did they give me an allocation to a car that all I do is lie about? And, and I'm lying about a company and they still help me out with that. So I want everyone watching this video, like I said, tag any influencer, give them the timestamp when I first started my rant, and let's see what happens next. Because I have several months of facts, not several minutes of me thinking I know what happened and trying to pass it off as though I'm debunking everybody else's reporting that they actually talked to Dodge about. I dare any one of them to hit up Dodge and tell me that I'm lying. I have text messages, I have photos, I have videos, I have emails and documentations from the dealerships about what happened on multiple Demon 170s and issues with their replacement engines. Like the one engine I know about that had to be repaired because someone at the plant doesn't know how to screw in spark plugs in a crate engine. But all these influencers who doubt what I was saying, all they had to do was reach out to me, TK, or OC Motivators for us to prevent them the facts because we could have presented them the facts in the background. They could have had a more informed decision before they made their videos. But uh, I gotta say that, you know, not everybody's like that, but I'm just saying, there are plenty of other influencers that most of you would not know that in the background, I am very friendly with. And if they had a question about anything I said in the video, they usually come reach out to me. I share facts with them and we're good. We're squared away. So all you guys, I appreciate all you guys, but everyone else, let's end this speculation once and for all. Let's see who is lying here. Go back to Dodge and bring facts to your videos. Ask them about the spark plug issues. Who was talking to them about that several months ago? Ask them about the bearing issues. Ask them about the, um, the leaking engines. Ask them about the harmonic balancers. Ask them about the Demon 70 engine warranties that they had denied and I had to have a chat with them about them reversing their decision. Ask them if I'm lying so much, why did they give me a Demon 70 allocation? Heck, you know, I'm feeling froggy. Tag any journalists. You can even tag these websites like Stale Power, which uh, I'm pretty cool with Patrick Raw. You can go tag TFL. You can go tag Car and Driver. You can go tag Motor Trend, who tried to demonetize several of my videos. You can go tag Mopar Insiders, who presents a lot of fact-based info. You can tag The Drive, who called me a drama YouTuber when I helped the, the uh, Active Duty Soldier get him a Demon 170. I mean, go and actually get me a statement from Dodge and let's see who is lying. The YouTubers who fought for the customers the last several months, getting their results, saving some of these guys hundreds of thousands of dollars, or am I just doing this for clicks and subscribers, which doesn't seem to be working right because I am still one of the smaller YouTube channels that covers Dodge. But let me know what you guys think. Will the doubters reach out to Dodge and prove me wrong? I want to be exposed for lying about the Demon 170 issues. I am begging to be exposed as a fraud. I would love to see this and we can all see it together and finally know once and for all if this is fact or fiction. And make sure you guys like this video because I want all the doubters to come and see this video. Make sure you tag the guys in here and see if they would accept my challenge. I have all the phone numbers, all the people they need to talk to. So don't come asking me to give you their phone numbers. Why don't you go actually do your own research and prove me wrong? And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because you're not wanna, you're not gonna want to miss what happens next because I want to see what's going on. And until the next time, butter's waiting.